industries today, ranging from genres of country western to the most popular hip-hop and R&B. But very few actually know the history behind this form of art. It was believed to have been discovered about 60,000 years ago. Evolutionary scientists think that this form of art may have actually saved the human race. They have may have possibly used this form of art to relay messages or to form bonds of unity against the enemy. The oldest found instrument was called the Dagu Bay Flute. It is said to be 43,000 years old. By 4000 BC, the Egyptians had created flutes and harps. Then in 3500 BC, there became lyres and double reed clarinets. The Valdez trumpet was created in Denmark in 2500 BC. The original guitars had originated in Hattiti sometime in 1500 BC. Archaeologists have discovered that the first piece of recorded music was found in 800 BC and song records with vocals and instruments in 700 BC. The modern octave scale we use was created in Greece in 600 BC using math. Greeks like the first brick in music theory foundation, so really we have Greeks to thank for our music. A Greek peripatetic philosopher named Eurysthenes wrote the treatise Elementa Harmonica, which established the octave scale. Thanks to Eurysthenes, we have artists ranging from Etta Jane. My love has come along. My lonely days are over. Anita Baker. Maxwell. Like Bone Thugs in Harmony. You will never pop me And I know that I gotta be a little cocky You ain't never gonna stop me Every time I come a nigga gotta set it Then I gotta go and then I gotta get it Then I gotta blow and then I gotta shut it Any little thing a nigga think that he be doing Cause it doesn't matter Cause I'm gonna da 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 Then I'm gonna murder everything and anything About a boom about a bang I gotta do a lot of things to make it clear To a couple niggas that I always win And then I gotta get it again and again and then again <laughs> And I be doing it to death and now I move a little foul A nigga better call a rap and everybody know my style A niggas know that I'm the best when they come to doing this And I be banging on my chest and I bang in the east And I bang in the west and I come to give you more And I will never give you less You will hear it in the street or you can read it in the press Do you really wanna know what's next? Let's go! And also Kevin Gates You I don't look at a special Actually I treat it regular Not being seen we not making no spectacle They tell the first thing he gave it to Kevin All the above we do all the etc Scandal the fans had to switch out my cellular He talking reckless don't call me back ever Passing through Garden or Holler at Club Ridiculous, watch when you step in pockets on energy. Can't be too careful. So, very different 
Each artist uses music as a form of expression, while the singers use vocal range to get, at the, to get the point across. Rappers use the flow of lyrics to add their personal touch. Music affects everyone in many shapes or forms. So listen to witness accounts on the effect of music. Her genre is hip hop and pop. Preferably, um, I like a lot of soul R and B rap. Um, I guess I got to say uh, this: I'm diverse when it comes to rap. Slow jam, R and B. Yeah, I'm gonna go with old school R and B, uh, 60s, 70s, 80s. Um, I like all genres, but I think my favorite genre is R and B. Uh. Music, music makes me feel mellow and chill, and I just get in my zone when I listen to music. It's in like spiritually uh, and mentally. Um, it makes me feel calm. Music calms me down and gives me like a funny vibe. Maybe because I love music. Music makes me feel whole inside. Well, it depends on what I'm listening to. Music made me feel wonderful. Basically, for me, um, when I was young, I didn't have a door of release, or I didn't have a father figure to be, you know, in that spot to vent to. So for me, music became a, a, a ultimate door opener to be able to vent, you know, and, and release my pressures, which in turn made me better father, better man. Help me Helps me to <clears throat> overcome some obstacles I've been going through lately. <clears throat> Listening to music got me through a lot of rough times. It's like it calms my spirit, you know. Uh, my favorite artists are Young Thug, Lil Wayne, and NBA Young Boy. My favorite artist of all the time, of course, will be Mac Ferry, you know, um, but um, so far as in today's time, it's really just, you know what I'm saying, opening doors um, and being innovative when it comes to the music, the gates, you know, um, and beat. You know. uh, Lil Wayne, Kendrick Lamar, Nicki Minaj, Kanye West, Kanye West, <laughs> I like Vinny Houston. Mm, who else? Mary J. Fox. Belle Biff the Bones. Uh, yeah, all of them. I don't have a favorite artist. But my favorite song is Kevin by Jamie Fox. Because I'm more of a, like, you know, I'm a guy with plenty of emotions, so I need to listen to different genres of music um, to get me going. <laughs> Things that um, I you listen to and they, you know, they dance to it, but for me, it was living. It was um, like every area, you know, when I listen to songs, I never just listen to the music, I listen to the words of the song. and. It's the words that captivate my soul because I can remember when, when I was starting, you know. Music is relatable to me because some of the things that I listen to, I experience myself. The music I listen to, a lot of that stuff I have experienced, a lot of that stuff I will experience or I'm curious about. The evolutionary journey music has taken over the years has shaped almost every mind in the world. Though there are both positive and negative effects of music, we still have to appreciate ancient Egyptians for starting music for us.